Hello and welcome to Solid Vision. I'm Jimmy and this is the 18th and final video in my animation reaction series. So, the replacements. I didn't expect it to be when I made it, but this is the best thing I ever made. It's my absolute masterpiece. All the skills that I learned over the first year or so of using SFM are represented here in this animation. From lighting, to dynamic camera movements, to lip syncing, and even custom textures. It's the peak of my career and the most viewed video on my channel, so naturally I had to save the best till last. So for context, at the beginning of 2016, new animatronic models have been released on the SFM workshop, and they immediately saw heavy usage due to being more accurate to the games than the old i6 NIS slash Sphinx models. However, this sparked a war in the fandom over which models were better. Some hated the old ones for being outdated, inaccurate and hard to use, while some hated the new ones for being uglier and lacking the cartoony charm of the originals. I personally thought both the old and new models had their strengths and weaknesses, and so I made this animation in an attempt to reconcile the two. The opening scene with Foxy was inspired by an animation by Typhoon Cinema released two months earlier called The Replacements. I'll link to it in the description below. And funnily enough, my video massively outperformed that video. <laughs> go figure. But anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Let's go ahead and watch the replacements. Oh man, this is going to be a trip. Let's go ahead. So it opens with uh, the old camera panning into the restaurant, the old posters on the wall. Solace Vision presents. Oh, it's really dark. It's uh, night time, of course. A source filmmaker animation. Oh, there's a new Foxy staring in with the lights in his eyes. The replacements. Just walking next to the stage with the, uh, the new animatronic models on the stage. You can just see their feet because they're not going to be revealed yet. Um, and then um, he starts working on uh, the old Foxy model with uh, the old heads in the background. And yes, I know what you're thinking. Both the uh, old and new models are still withered. They're still like, or not withered, they're like um, damaged slightly. Like he's got a hole in his chest. That's because at the time there was no like fixed Foxy models on the workshop. If there was, then no doubt I would have had the fixed version of Foxy here. But I didn't have it, so yeah, they're both still broken. I mean, they're kind of meant to be broken. They're like uh, um, pirates, you know. What are you talking about? So basically, um, the new Foxy repaired the old Foxy and um, is announcing that uh, they've been replaced. No, it can't be. Yep. You can see the... Uh, <laughs> basically, the company thinks that they're too old, so they've got like new models. It's like the withers with the toys, like they replaced them. My friends, and yet there's uh, Foxy's old friends deactivated in the uh, the corner. Well, they're, they're, they're just switched off, they'll wake up. How are we doing? Yeah, basically the company decided, yeah, to replace them. Times change. <laughs> yeah. You've done a great... Yeah, basically, even though... Um, this is basically an analogy for the models. Even though the models are outdated and they no longer look after the games, when they were after the games and they're being replaced, they still did their job in the uh, fandom, like with all the animations that were made like, over the months. They are still part of the culture. And there's... <laughs> she gets her head on the table. Basically, it's the daytime now and they're waking up. What am I doing here? And you can hear uh, the old Billy Bob Bassman Rocket Bike Explosion song in the background. What's that ruckus? Keep it down at. Huh? And there they are performing on stage. What the bar, 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 bar. Yep. <laughs> there they are. Where'd they come from? Yep, they've been replaced. Sorry, Freddy. What's going on? Yep, and then Foxy uh, divulges the old details of what happened. What is this, Foxy? They've been replaced. Yep, comes are outdated. Again, it's like a heavy analogy for uh, the fandom. They're outdated and so uh, new models are made to replace them. First of all, it's back in 87. Now this. They don't even look any better. Yeah, basically this this is how the uh, the war went in the fandom. All the fighting in the fandom over which models were better, all the advantages and disadvantages of each model. That was what was going on at the time in the fandom. A lot of, a lot of fighting. The injustice. Yep, nothing lasts forever. Our time's up. So Bon accepts it, but Freddy doesn't. Just like in the uh, True Friends and Never Withered's thing. This starting to sound exactly sound familiar. That's a reference to the Two Friends and the Wizards animation, Sabotage, where uh, Freddy basically doesn't accept that his time's up and he wants to go back and like perform again. We'll destroy those new models, pretend it was a vandal. <laughs> yeah, that. Well, then they'll have to bring us back. That's very, very uh, Machiavellian. You and the guys. Yep. Yeah, not taking no for an answer, and they're reluctantly going along. And Foxy uh, also reluctantly goes along because he can't argue with Freddy. Let's do this. And that night while the uh, new models are sleeping on the stage. There's the thumbnail for the uh, animation there with the uh, animatronics on the stage. Because the Slayer, go, and then they come walking out with crowbars, because why not? You know, nothing beats a good crowbar to smash things up. I wouldn't recommend it though, because that's vandalism. This is almost too easy. <laughs> yep. You go first. Of course, he's sending Foxy up, and here we go. Here we go. Here we go. He can't do it. No, he can't bring himself to do it, because he, he's got a good heart. But Freddy, on the other hand, thinks nothing of smashing up the new versions because he's that callous, he's that bitter. Oh, wow. Ooh, that felt good. That didn't sound good. What's going on? Oh, there's the new Fox model. Uh-oh. 
That looks bad. Ouch. He's not happy about that. It was his, yeah, it was his idea. You destroy me, friends. Yep. And, um, yep. What do you ever do to you? Yeah, and here here comes the uh, old rivalry between the old and new ones. Leave us in that back room. Used to... Yeah, that's a good point. Like, well, he did fix them. Yeah, he did fix them. He prevented them from, like, being... They're going to toss you out altogether. <laughs> exactly, so he did them a favour. Old Foxy was stripped down to his endoskeleton. And yeah, exactly. If it wasn't for him, then they'd be tossed out completely. Can't just take the stage from us. Yes, basically, once again, this is my attempt to reconcile the two animatronic models. Both of them have their um, strengths and weaknesses. And um, obviously, I'm just one guy, so I can't, like, end the war on my own in the fandom. But this is basically my take on the matter. Oh, there's your photo of uh, a kid at the, at the restaurant. Um, they're the best days of a child. Basically, he's, what he's saying is, um, even though they're old and they're no longer as used as these newer ones, um, all the memories are created with these uh, old models. Yeah, they did great things. They're fantastic. They had their place um, while they were useful. And they're not worthless because, you know, all the uh, stuff that they were made, they are a big part of the fandom. You can draw on some pieces. Yep, yeah, space clear. <laughs> That's very gracious considering that you just destroyed their friends. My pleasure. Yep. Now you've got to fix the friends yet. <laughs> Do it quickly. Um. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's 6 a.m. And there's the... Uh, that's a new uh, park code model there. With the curtain opening. And the lights are on. And time for the day shift to begin. This is bad. We've got no one to perform with. Yep. Yeah, um, basically, um, what I have to do now. Because they're broken, they have to like, bring them back and fix them. And then... Vandal Bear. <laughs> okay, you might not have seen that because of my went to Faircam, but he said they call him Vandal Bear. One more shift, yep, one more shift. This is their uh, their swan song, their uh, last attempt at uh, performing on stage. Just once more. Yeah, again, this is a huge parallel to Two Friends and Never Withers. A lot of uh, references to that animation there. What's it going to be? Yep, and that's the deal. <laughs> yep, um, even though Foxy uh, is still uh, working order. Yeah, uh, want he's allowing him to form in the code one more time. Just go the the old gang can be together. And here we go, the old performance once again with the uh, Rock of Fire again. I just took this song because I thought this is a uh, quintessential animatronic song to perform. You know, old Chuck E. Cheese. Well, actually no, it's uh, I think the show yeah, Showbiz Pizza Palace. So I'm confused. I always can't get too confused. And there's Chica singing. She doesn't do much on stage usually, so I made her sing that high pitch part. There's a new Foxy model watching from backstage. He hears it and he's like, oh wow, that's amazing. They haven't lost it, have they? Ay, 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 ay. I love that part. You might be thinking, like, right, how, how's he moving around backstage? Can't the people in the restaurant see him? Well, they probably can, but I didn't care about that at the time. And there's Fox in this cove, dancing along. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. I love this song so much. Obviously, I've never been to a Chuck E. Cheese or a show this Pizza Palace, but I probably would have loved it as a kid if I'd seen it. Maybe a bit creeped up by animatronics, but um, this would have been a great part of my childhood, I can imagine. And with FNAF, it just makes it even better. And there's the ending. Not bad, fellas. I didn't think you could do it. Well, they could. Nothing keeps this rabbit. <laughs> oh man, this again. This writing is great. I love the this uh, this uh, dialogue. Oh, there's these fixed new models, um, and Freddy somehow repaired them himself. I don't know how he repaired them. He didn't think he had any mechanic skills. But and there's <laughs> yeah, new Chica um, and new Freddy. Last show I ever do, and just cherish the moment. You made people happy, just like made them happy for years. Well, in the case of the fandom, it was just months. It wasn't years. It was, <laughs> FNAF wasn't out for that long. And yeah, without them, where would all that animation be? This is the this was the origin of these animations. Let's go along from now on. Who's up for pizza? Yeah, the old pizza. I'll help you make it. Yep. Again, last last reference. I like including little throwbacks from old animations there. And you can see here in the FNAF 2 restaurant the new versions of the FNAF 2 models. I was going to make a updated version with um, the toys as well, but it would have basically been the same thing and it would have been repetitive. And here we go. And there they are playing a TF2 on the Max. I think TF2 had recently been released for the Apple computer, so uh, that's a reference to that as well. And that's the end. The replacements is done. And what can I say? It was just as magnificent as I remember. This is clearly the best thing I've ever done. And I am, to say I'm proud of this is an absolute understatement. This is a crowning achievement in my, not just my animating career, but in my life in general. This is one of the best things I've ever like concocted. It's kind of funny, in the past, I never really saw myself as a creative person for the most part, but then FNAF came along, then Source Filmmaker came along, and decided to express my love of FNAF um, with my creativity through uh, animations. I just messed around with it for a few days, and then I got good at it, and the rest is history. And I don't like to blow my own trumpet, I'm a very modest person, but all my animating prowess and my admiration for this franchise is no better summed up in any video than this one. Well, that's a wrap, people. That's the end of my animation reaction series 
It was an absolute joy, an unmitigated joy, to rewatch all these animations. Obviously some of them are better than others, some of them haven't held up that well, there's a couple that I don't really like anymore, like The Last Slice, whereas, whereas others are still just as good as they were in the past, and I still love them tons, and I would not change a thing about any of these animations, not, not even The Last Slice, I would not go back and make any updated versions, obviously because I'm not even animating anymore anyway, I'm, I'm bored of it, but if I, even if I wasn't bored, I would not change a thing about any of these animations. They may not be perfect, they may not be flawless, at least compared to most other animations, but they are mine, and that's all that matters. I love these animations so much, I, I love this part of my history, and now that I've revisited them all, I think it's finally time to close the book on my FNAF career, on my animating career, and let it go, because for a long time this channel has been kind of like walking zombie-like, like not doing anything, and just trying to make new content, gaming content, even though it's very, very unpopular because people just want animating stuff. This series wasn't just supposed to be a trip down memory lane, it was also supposed to be me putting a lid on this hobby of mine because my animation days are over. In fact, my FNAF days are over in general because I played uh, Pizza Simulator recently and I could not get past night three. I think it was night three I got up to because the gameplay was just so boring and it was just so not what I was used to. It was too hard to work out. All the uh, management stuff was just too convoluted. And even more convoluted was Custom Night. Oh God, Ultimate Custom Night. I tried playing that. I was going to make a video series on it on my channel. Channel, but I could not get past the first night, it was just so confusing. And that's a problem, in terms of gameplay, lore, characters and pretty much everything to do with FNAF, I have drifted so far apart from it that I just can't keep up with it anymore. And understandably, because FNAF was my salad days, a lot of people still think I'm a big FNAF guy. I'm not a FNAF guy anymore. It's nowhere near one of my biggest passions anymore. I mean, I can never escape my FNAF association. I don't blame you because of this animating thing that I did. But um, I don't really care about it anymore. I do respect it massively. I do hold cherished memories of this. But it's just like with the replacements and True Friendship Never Withers, memories should stay memories. It should stay in the past. And I have to move on. Close the book on FNAF and animating. Does that mean my YouTube channel's over? No, not at all. I will continue uploading videos I feel like, uh, when I feel like them, but I'll probably, I'm, I'm probably going to take a big break though because this was quite hard to make and um, I'm quite burned out. But until next time, I don't know when the next time will be, whenever I feel like making a video. Until next time, thank you very much for watching this series. It was such, such fun to make and such fun to rewatch these videos. And thank you for tuning in to Solar Vision. Goodbye.